Yeah. Uh, and then we will share uh, the recording together with the presentations in our uh, Climate Alliance website and in the live back on, um, communication channels. Uh, please switch off your microphone during the presentation and I very much uh, encourage you to ask any questions in the chat box or raise your hands uh, and we will give the, uh, you the floor uh, at the end of each presentation. Um, the goal of this webinar um, uh, is presenting the, the call for application launched on behalf of the, the Life Back on project, presenting the outcomes of, for, uh, for, uh, for the project and the, the support offered through this call for application to selected replicators. Uh, furthermore, um, our project partners uh, from R2M, coordinator of the project, and Sufena, the Sofia Energy Agency, will demonstrate how uh, with the Life Back on project we support uh, and contribute to empowering local and regional authorities and energy agencies as well in support in in creating their energy communities at the local level. And uh, so, after a presentation on what you can gain from participating in the call for application, uh, Mauro Ostinelli from R2M will present what the project home cookbook and one-stop shop platform offer to public authorities and energy agencies willing to boost energy communities. And then Nadia Nikolova from, from so Sofena will show how the concept of a technical assistance office comes to life uh, in Sofia. Uh, so again, at the end of each presentation, you will have the possibility to ask any questions or share inputs. So again, I will I invite you all uh, to put your questions or comment in the chat box and then uh, or raise your hands. Um, maybe some of you still don't know if you want to apply to this call for application or not. So don't miss this opportunity to really make any questions you have in mind. And um, and now I think we can start with the presentation. Uh, I would like to to uh, to to give you a quick overview of the Life Back on project by showing this uh, two minutes and a half uh, video we produced, where you can get an overview of supporting activities expected for replicators and what is this Life Back on supporting mechanisms about, etc. And here uh, the video. The European Commission has embarked on a transformative journey with the European Green Deal strategy, setting a bold vision to make the EU the world's first climate neutral continent by 2050. This is no small feat. It's a giant leap towards a sustainable future. Central to this ambition is reimagining how we produce energy. And that's where energy communities come into the spotlight. Energy communities are not just a concept. They're a game-changing movement, fostering sustainable energy systems while uplifting local economies and enhancing quality of life. However, the path to establishing these communities is fraught with legal and technical hurdles. But don't worry because public authorities are stepping up as pivotal players, facilitating the implementation of energy policies at the grassroots level. In this pivotal moment, the European Life Beckon Project emerges as a beacon of support. It's dedicated to aiding local authorities, energy agencies, and energy communities, whether they're just starting or scaling up their efforts toward collective energy actions. Life Beckon is already making strides in three pilot cities, Copenhagen, Sofia, and several municipalities in the province of Avila. But the project's ambitions don't stop there. With the call for replication, Life Beckon is extending an invitation to more cities, regions, and energy innovators. This is your chance to join a community of up to 15 replicators, leveraging the Life Beckon methodology to foster energy communities in your area. Here's what you stand to gain as a replicator access to the Life Beckon one-stop shop platform, interactive workshops, comprehensive training and support, technical and commercial assistance, localized information resources. We're excited to have you on board for the Life Beckon journey. Join us and let's collectively shape a sustainable energy future.
All right, so um, I will explain now a bit more in details what you saw in these two super intensive minutes. Um, uh, so the Life Back On project is financed by the European Commission through the to, through the Life Clean Energy Transition mm -hmm. program. And our goal, the Life Back On project goal, is stimulating and boosting the deployment of energy communities across Europe by developing and uh, delivering comprehensive supporting mechanisms, mainly targeting public authorities, promoters, and local action groups. Um, we try to, to really support you by offering, by offering mainly two streams of support. Uh, first of all, uh, providing uh, replicators with tools, training, and peer-to-peer -peer exchange uh, with other countries, especially our pilots uh, in Sofia, Bulgaria, Copenhagen, Denmark, uh, in Denmark, and three small municipalities from the, the province of Avila in Spain. Uh, this is specifically, uh, specifically addressed to, to those actors who want really to create energy communities um, and want to work, uh, have to work in all steps necessary to establishing the, those energy communities, such as the initiation, initiation phase to planning and implementation. On the other hand, the second point, uh, we, we also would like to support local authorities, regional authorities, but also energy agencies and people who are in charge of energy assistant, uh, assistance in municipalities, for example, um, helping them to, to set up a technical assistance office. Oh, sorry. I don't know what happened to my presentation. Oh, my God. Sorry. Um, sorry, here it is. Um, okay, um, uh, the, the, um, okay, the second point is uh, providing you with uh, whole elements necessary to set up a technical assistance office. And um, our general general objective now is uh, is um, spreading, let's say, our approach, so involving more than 30 local authorities uh, along the project. That those are different from replicators, but at the end, really, we would like to, to, to create and, and to establish this big network of local authorities working on, on the topic. And um, so what uh, are we really uh, going to offer to our replicators? Firstly, uh, the peer-to-peer -peer learning and exchange with our pre-pilot sites in Copenhagen, Sofia, and the Deputación de Avila, with opportunities to, to get inspirations, insights, and recommendations from those great experiences. Uh, we have online training sessions, um, which shall, shall help to involve citizens and stakeholders in your region, uh, spreading the idea of energy communities and to really involve those factors. Uh, you can get uh, furthermore uh, access to our network of experts and specialists within the Life Back On project, but also from the community of practice that will can be established um, in our tools, uh, as Mauro we will show later uh, later on, and then we 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 have those those tools like the um, one stop shop platform and the technical assistance cookbook, which can provide you with technical and practical help for during the work process to set up energy communities. Last but not least, you have also access to our network as Climate Alliance uh, or other networks uh, such as the Covenant of Mayors, for example, where there are really plenty of knowledge on energy communities. Uh, and if you apply as replicator, you might benefit from those experiences. Uh, so uh, that's all for the moment from my side. And now I would like to give the floor to Mauro um, Ostinelli from R2M, the coordinator of the project, uh, who will explain how Life Balcons Cookbook and One Stop Shop platform support municipalities. Mauro, please, the floor is yours. Thanks, Andrea. Hi, everybody. My name is Mauro. I work for R2M, like Andrea said. Uh, and I'm uh, in charge of the 
of the work package one of the project that it's the designing of the of the of the tools that you can find in the in the platform so i will share the, the screen now and i can will show you uh, i think everybody can see it now uh, yeah okay and yes. um, this this platform it's supposed to have all the um, all the tools, all the things that you need to launch or, or or scale up your energy community. And it's divided, like we will see. Well, this is the introduction of, of the web page. The, there you can, uh, there you have the, the link for the call. And also you can join the, the, the platform uh, with, uh, with a little, um, uh, a form that you can apply for, for the, for the platform. Uh, so um, yeah, the object here is to, to support existing energy communities, but um, mainly it's to, to launch the, and, and scale up to move forward in the, um, in the development stages of the energy communities. It's, it's for um, local action groups and authorities. Um, but you can, there you can find tools also for the citizens that you, the local authority can give uh, this tool to, to the local citizen uh, to promote maybe the unsee the calculations of uh, power plants by, by their, by themselves. Of course, every, every step of the way, it's the local authority um, to support these, these citizens. It's divided in three hubs, the training hub. The guidance and the opportunity hub. I will explain each each of them, and it's there. All these hubs are included in the in the platform in the online platform. Uh, first, the guidance hub. It's um, it's uh, a, well like a guidance. It's um, it's a roadmap uh, from going to um the, the initiation the development stage of the initiation of the platform of the energy community uh, and the platform will guide you every step of the way uh, till the operation um if you, i don't know if everybody knows there is four uh, development stages in, in energy communities the initiation the, the design the implementation and operation and each of them it's it's um it's not a super defined. You can uh, have an energy community that maybe you cannot um, uh, fit in in one category on, or the other, one uh, development stage or the other. But um, mainly, you can fit uh, all the all the energy communities within these uh, development stages. So uh, I'm talking about the step by step guide. This um, you can find. Um, divided in these development stages, all the tools that you need to um, to continue um, with the launch of the energy community or uh, moving forward with your energy communities. Uh, we have um, assembled one, more than 1,000 um, tools and we have select the, the best ones or uh, the ones that are um, most uh, more more easy to use we have to think that this is for um local authorities that may be they are not ex experts or they but um you will have a uh, easy or medium uh, with the, the difficulty of of the tools to promote the the, the energy communities um and this database it's um it's continuously improved by by Beckham. Here's a, a little um, a screenshot of the platform. Uh, you will see that there are um, there is a, a roadmap. Uh, this is something that um, for Beckham is innovative because the, you will not find uh, a simple roadmap to follow. Uh, uh, um, a step-by-step -step guide in, in the in, on, in the internet, and this is something that we understand that it's more easy to follow the steps than uh, to reduce the complexity of the energy communities. So we have developed this this uh, roadmap, 
But if you don't like to follow this this roadmap, you have also in the down in the in the um, in the down part you have um you have the resources to look up for filters like um, okay I want a tool for uh, PV uh, installations in in the early stages of the energy communities you will have it here uh, in Spanish or in, in English or you can select the and find the the right tool. If not, you can follow the the um, this mind map, this 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 robot. Um, yeah, just as to mention, uh, here's the robot is just with the tools that we have selected, and not all the tools, and it um, they will guide you to the um, settle of the of the energy community. And it's divided in for for deducing the, the complexity into just um, two types or two, yeah, two dimensions that we have the legal entity and the power plant. So you can advance in one uh, in one division and and not not so far with the other one. Um, so you can continue improving the energy community and not be stuck in the first first steps. If you are already with the energy uh, community, um, more developing, I don't know, in the power plant, and not in the setting of the legal entity. Uh, for the training hub, we'll have um, different um, videos for 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 the local um, the local authorities to learn a little bit of energy communities. Like here, we can say uh, you can see. Um, videos for the stakeholder uh, engagement, removing the barriers of the energy communities, the benefits. This is that these are videos that can be shown to the citizens if they're interested, or um, if they want to know a little bit more, or also to the first. Um, it's for the first uh, days of of a new uh, local authority that wants to. Be introduced in the energy communities. Also, we have a forum that you can ask, um, and um, other other um, technicals from the office can uh, reply of, of that um, of that question, or you can share uh, your knowledge or or your your ideas inside this this forum. And you also we will have also uh, workshops um, that you can also. Uh, Enter inside this this platform. And lastly, the opportunity hub. It's uh, well here you can say you can see that everybody, uh, a citizen or uh, or other other uh, other um, technicals can uh, reply and answer uh, to the um, to the to the question of the citizens. Um, this opportunity you have uh, is more than that. It's not just the chat. Uh, it's um, it's a place like a marketplace where we can fit the um, a provider and 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 a, and a citizen or an, a, another local um, local authority. All match uh, inside um, this this platform to. Um, uh, seek for uh, assistance or seek for another one another citizens to um to to join the energy communities um oh, yeah also to to yeah to, to know where where are the experts in in the in your zone you can see now that it's you have a map and you have a list of of the organizations that are, are inside yeah, an area and uh, and all the members that you can contact like a you know, like um a social social media a, a style uh, platform uh, but more focus on on the on the technical assistance of of the citizen uh, but that's all the the hubs and if you have any questions I think I have a little yeah, minutes to to answer them the platform is not uh, officially launched. We have, uh, I think, a couple of weeks more. Um, 
how about you can join the, the call for application. Great. Thank you, Mario, Mauro, for your really interesting presentation. I think everything was clear. Um, but yes, please, uh, I'm asking to all participants, if you are interested to, to have further details, this is the moment to ask Mauro, uh, specifically for for these tools developed, uh, being developed uh, within the, the project, or also some questions to me for uh, the, the support the, for seeing offer it to replicators, or if you have some expectations that you cannot find in our offer, uh, please feel free to make any comments, uh, input, suggestions, and we can discuss all together here. nobody so i think mauro you can stop yeah thank you and i will now give the floor to nadia nikolova from sofania and nadia uh, will show how us how the they are supporting several cities in bulgaria specifically sofia in this case uh, in setting up and running their technical assistance offices Nadia, please, the floor is yours. You can present, start presenting. Yeah. Good afternoon, everybody. So a moment, i like to open my presentation. Do you see it? No, is it properly. okay? Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's a bit uh, cut, but I think we can see it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So... Uh, I am a partner from Bulgaria, so we have to implement uh, the pilot, the demo pilot in uh, Sofena, in Sofia region. So um, we are a little, uh, what I can say, a little late in uh, adopting the, ten, uh, the um, regulation on energy communities. It was uh, trans, uh, trans, the transposition took place last year in the autumn, but nevertheless, a lot of uh, steps have been taken in order to foster the setting up of energy communities in Bulgaria. So a lot of uh, changes and amendments uh, took place during the last several years in our legislation in order to, to ease uh, the, the connection and the uh, uh, dissemination of <clears throat> energy communities through... So, sorry, uh, Nadia, for interrupting you. Maybe it's better. I'm going to share your presentation because we cannot really see all sentences. So maybe if you stop sharing, I will share for you and just ask me when I have to move slides. Okay, okay, because I see it okay. So I do not know what you see. I'll stop sharing. Please open the... Yeah, thank you. Open it, okay. <clears throat> okay, thank you once again. <laughs> As I mentioned, uh, our uh, definitions on, of energy communities were accepted, approved by the National Parliament in October last year. And this was the first step uh, clearing the a way for the development of energy communities in Bulgaria. Uh, all these uh, steps were accompanied uh, of a series of uh, changes in the legislation. Uh, next slide, please. Here on the next slide, uh, I have mentioned all changes that uh, were uh, took, uh, took place in order to shorten the administrative procedures and to open the way, to pave the way for the uh, energy communities establishment in Bulgaria. In fact, uh, just now there is a, a discussion on an ordinance how to ease the joining procedures for producers of electrical energy from renewable energy, renewable sources specifically for those with a small capacity of one megawatt energy. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah. Uh, another very important issue uh, is the financing, the, the possibility for financing. Of course, at this stage, we do not have 
specific financing for energy communities because it's rather new and there is a, still a need uh, to uh, polish the regulation concerning the energy communities in Bulgaria. But under the National Recovery and Resilience Plan, there are several opportunities to help and, and to play as a, the role as a prerequisite for the energy community development in Bulgaria. There are several uh, financial uh, uh, sources for construction of renewable energy source installations, PV installations for the citizens and for small companies, as well as uh, a specific program for renewable of multifamily residential buildings in the country of 1 billion level that is uh, at present under operation. All these uh, financing means uh, uh, give the opportunities to further develop and to create the, the conditions uh, for uh, establishing energy communities. Next step, next slide, please. So uh, having all this in mind, we have already legal and financial opportunities to develop energy communities. The third important issue is the information, the, the dissemination of the information, consultancy and training. So these instruments uh, are the one-stop shops, platforms, and the technical assistance offices. For this reason, a National Decarbonization Fund is uh, under construction and at present to help this process of energy transition and to provide financing and management consultancies to these energy initiatives and projects. Next slide, please. <coughs> In fact, uh, uh, in, in the next years, uh, the, uh, the National Decarbonization Fund will finan financially support the establishment of about 30 one-stop shops all over the country le with the leading role of the local authorities. And uh, uh, all uh, public and private entities will be uh, assisted by for this reason, to develop such open stop shops all over the country. Uh, the, the, this is uh, done because of, uh, in order to assist the municipalities, the citizens and the companies uh, to apply and to prepare their applications for these financial uh, means, calls that and grants that uh, will uh, and are uh, available for development of renewable energy and for energy efficiency in the country. Next step. Next slide, please. Yeah, and uh, we, uh, Sofana, from that point of view, uh, has the idea and is uh, starting to work in this area. And uh, our role in the Live Backup Project is just to develop such a technical assistance office uh, that will uh, provide, that already provides, so this is the truth, because we opened this uh, office officially in, at the end of November, announced its opening. Uh, officially, uh, we already provide consultation on a variety of issues on energy projects. So our main activity at this uh, starting point is mainly communication, collaboration between and across the different systems, uh, thus uh, uh, bridging the gap between and among the interesting parties, citizens, authorities, experts, providers. Next slide, please. So the Technical Assistance Office, uh, we, uh, uh, would, we have developed is a physical place where uh, can interested parties can receive the necessary information for setting up energy communities and, and to uh, receive services for the operation of energy, as energy projects. So uh, at this stage, it is rather a place where we can discuss specific energy uh, community needs uh, that will arise in the, in the next, at present and in the next years. Next. 
so what is important? We uh, have uh, established already technical assistance office and another project. It's about energy poverty uh, that was, uh, his functioning has been functioning already for several years. It is uh, built, in fact, in the premises of our agency and uh, uh, provided uh, uh, consultation in the field of energy poverty. Next uh, slide. In fact, the issue, next slide, please. In fact, this office uh, functioned uh, during the period of uh, COVID. Because of that, uh, we were not able to meet many people, but uh, we gave consultancy by phone, by email, and uh, uh, additionally, we provided a lot of visits because uh, we had uh, energy poor people in um, uh, there to, to change uh, their um, heating uh, appliances. Uh, this uh, office is situated in the heart of the city, in the office of Sofena served in fact by all employees of the, the agency. And we have one specific person who worked very much in that area and is very much in charge of this issue and still is one of our main experts giving advice on energy poor people. Next slide. Uh, what I would also uh, highlight is that uh, our support for the energy poor people uh, was mainly in uh, uh, providing advice on energy efficiency, how they can save uh, energy, how they can uh, uh, improve the energy, the energy efficiency of their home, how they can change their behavior. These were the areas we provided uh, information on energy poverty. I, uh, I speak about it because uh, the energy poverty was not defined in our regulation during the implementation of the project. And in October last year, we have already the, the definition of energy poverty. And at present, in next this and next year, uh, the, the necessary regulation will be further developed. Next year, next slide, please. So we, next slide, yes, thank you. So this is uh, the, the model that we uh, selected and then we built upon our um, uh, energy, energy uh, technical energy office for the energy communities. This is the business model. It's the facilitation model when we provide a, mainly advice free of charge to the interested parties under the uh, beacon live vegan project our goal is to uh, uh, mainly to provide advice to the region of sofia but in fact uh, sofena works uh, on the territory of the whole country so that we are open and uh, will provide advice to all municipalities in the country that are interested and will look for information and support next slide please So the main roles we uh, see uh, of our technical assistance office are the, the, next, the first task is to provide general information about uh, energy communities, uh, thus raising the awareness of the interested uh, players uh, on this issue and on the benefits of energy communities. The second goal is the project specific capacity or expertise that we can give as an advice for the setting up of energy communities. The third important issue is the communication for facilitation of the communication across the different systems. And horizontally, of course, for the, these three important roles, we provide information, training and consultation on different issues, technical, financial, management, regulatory, administrative. This, these are the main responsibilities we have defined uh, in our work as a technical assistant office. Next slide. So we have defined some uh, integrated services, not all of them, 
uh, have been applied at this stage because our technical assistance office is rather new. But what I can say that at present, we already offer capacity building for municipalities and other interested stakeholders. As an example, I can say that uh, our experts uh, are already invited and took part in different trainings. For example, last month I provided training in the city of Plovdiv. Uh, this month, Diana will provide training in the city of Vidi. So we have already a lot of invitations for trainings on energy communities from all over the country. And we are involved and uh, free of, provided free of charge for all communities that would like to receive more information and uh, to disseminate the idea of energy communities. Uh, so uh, we have already started uh, our uh, very detailed uh, uh, assistance in the field of uh, formation of uh, energy communities in legal issues, best practices, and other issues on the registration and functioning of energy communities in Bulgaria. Of course, we still cannot uh, propose tailor-made plans and guidance, but of course, we hope that when uh, the one-stop the platform, one-stop shop platform will be ready, so we'll be able to uh, provide much more information and support to the interested municipalities and uh, partners. Next one. Yeah, what are our resources? In fact, uh, we, of course, will rely on the one-stop shop platform, on list of providers and investors and database uh, trainers. Uh, we mentioned it already that we provided, so we'll benefit a lot from uh, life uh, big and project. So uh, we'll further develop, as I mentioned, our activity during this uh, in next years. Thank you. Next slide. Yeah, uh, I can mention here also that we uh, work with a lot of partners. Uh, so Sofena is part of uh, the association of uh, the Bulgarian Energy Agency. So we work uh, very much in close relations with other agencies. And in fact, all these uh, trainings that I mentioned uh, took place uh, within this network and we are invited in from other agencies to provide training in the energy communities. So uh, we have a lot of uh, connections with the university, the teachers, with industry, with uh, municipalities. And this is very important when uh, working as a technical assistance office to be able to find the necessary experts, investors, engineers, and uh, uh, governmental uh, people, authorities, to be involved in this uh, consultancy and training. Next one, please. So uh, what is the possibility of FENA to provide uh, this technical assistance office? So uh, SOFENA is an organization working for public benefit in fact, we uh, are working in that field for, for many years, providing information, consultation, and training in uh, energy saving, renovation of buildings, and for use of renewables in for public authorities, businesses, and citizens. We are a small company. In fact, uh, having four experts, two engineers, and two people with uh, expertise in humanitarian expertise in energy markets and energy safety. But uh, at present, uh, uh, for, we are able to cover the uh, functions of the technical assistance office and uh, we provide uh, information to people we have uh, defined that will be specialized in consultation in person when asked. Uh, at least two hours per working day in case of interest, of course. But uh, as I mentioned, all of us are involved in trainings and consultation all our time when we are uh, asked to give this uh, information and help for the uh, interested parties. 
next uh, slide. So, in, uh, in fact, already in the country, there are some good uh, examples because in the city of Burgas and in the Soviet town, one of the Soviet town administration also, um, some uh, energy offices have been opened. Of course, the idea, uh, the idea of opening these offices is mainly to uh, assist uh, associations of um, uh, blocks of flats to prepare their, uh, their uh, applications for the financing for renovation of buildings. But uh, they provide all other um, consultancy for renewable use of PV panels on the roofs as well for energy community development. Uh, as a very good example, and maybe it is the first one in the country, is the example of uh, the city of Gaborovo, where the first energy community with the initiation of the name Separity took place last month, this month, in fact. Uh, it is uh, um, an energy community uh, for building PVs on the uh, uh, on, on a on a municipal uh, uh, place. So, and uh, the, the financing uh, was gathered through crowdfunding. And uh, in fact, in two months, uh, the financing was insured, 100,000 euro. And uh, next, uh, so it was already registered and we are looking with uh, the uh, eagerness to know how it is going on because this is one of the first uh, such initiatives in the country. So thank you very much. This is what I want to share. I'm ready to answer if you have any questions. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nadia. Really, really, really inspiring presentation, not only for what you are doing in Sofia, but also in other cities. Great also to see that Gabrovo, I will remember that is one of the most active cities in the Covenant of Mayors for last two years, let's say, with our mayor. I personally met with her. She's super involved, super active. So really great to see how you are progressing. And um, we have a question in the chat from Fiona Zimmerman. Could you tell us who is funding the two hours a day for the call center? This is for you, Nadia. Yeah, at present, so it is funded by the by Sofena. So there's we do not have uh, additional financing for our activity. So uh, we are working for public benefit, and in fact, uh, we are self-financed organization. Uh, our main financing uh, comes from uh, projects, and of course, uh, we have an additional company. Of Sofana, which is which provides energy auditing uh, to interested parties. So th this is self-financed activity at this stage. But uh, as I mentioned, the decarbonization fund will uh, start funding uh, one-stop shops all over the country. And for the next five years, there is a lot of good, a rather good uh, amount of money. So we have to in order to uh, provide more uh, services, uh, I suppose that we'll have to apply for this financing when it will be opened. Thank you. I hope the, the, the question is well addressed. If not, Fiona, feel free to, to write or jump in, into the conversation. Other questions? Any other questions for Nadia or Mauro? If not, I have a question for Nadia. Uh, Nadia, you, you showed how your technical assistance office, let's say, were already in place before the life back on, but now you are thinking you, uh, you, are, you are going to integrate your technical assistance office with the, with the one-stop shop platform developed by Bacon. My question is, how much do you think it is crucial for an energy community and a local authority to have also this kind of tools for really providing these integrated services 
so how much it is crucial and uh, if you expect that with the use of this tool, of this platform, uh, you can really uh, try to go faster with the deployment of energy communities. So what I can say is that uh, we have a lot of uh, so, uh, tasks. We are working with a lot of uh, municipalities. For example, I'll give it as an example. At present, there is a call for lightning uh, of municipalities. And uh, there is a meeting all, uh, almost every week. We meet several municipalities. During these meetings, we inform them about the possibilities of uh, our technical assistance office. So at, at this stage, as still the regulation is not very well developed, we have the definitions of energy communities, but we start from scratch. So as I mentioned, this is the first uh, energy community registered by by municipality in Gabrovo. So uh, there is a lot to be done to inform uh, the municipalities and to help them in this activity. And uh, our technical assistance office, in fact, uh, is not a place they will come to us, but rather we go to the municipalities and show them the possibilities that they can use. So, uh, it, of course, at this stage, we are very modest. We have a, a, the, on our side some information specifically um, about energy communities. We start now to develop it. And, of course, with the project, when the, uh, the uh, uh, Beacon platform will be developed, we'll try to further promote uh, the use of uh, uh, the platform in our uh, technical assistance office. But as I mentioned, at this stage, we rather go to the municipalities, we go to provide training, and of course, we are open to all interested parties to give information and advice in our physical state, in fact, physical office as well. Some of the meetings take place here also, of course, in the, in the office. So we do not uh, uh, pr provide uh, consultancy only two hours a day, so we are open to the interested parties and we are glad if we can provide it at this stage because uh, the energy, the topic of energy communities is rather new and there is no enough experience in that area. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nadia. Any other questions? Okay, if not, I have another one for Mauro, um, because this is something also that we discussed bilaterally with other um, organizations interested to, to apply to the core for application. You already a bit explained about this, but I think that would be great if you can give more details on, okay, in the life back when we are working with three uh, country pilots, let's say, so Spain, Denmark, and Bulgaria, but we are targeting all Europe. So, uh, okay, we already touched the, point, uh, touched the point about the language barriers and the translation, but I would like to, to talk about the community of practice that we can establish uh, within the, the, um, the back-end tools like the one-stop shop platform. So for example, if there is another country that is interested to establish their proper community, uh, I think that uh, this is a great opportunity you know, for them to do so because everybody is free to join uh, this platform. Of course, they have to be energy community experts, but so can you just say a couple of words about this? Yeah, thanks Andrea for the question, it's really interesting. Um, I think um, the main, um, uh, the main um, benefits of this of this uh, roadmap or, or or the tools in this in this platform is that it's always developing and yeah when somebody from I don't know from Germany wants to to add some some tools that they think there there is um, there is potential there and and and, and we haven't found it. Um, or they have their own tool. Maybe they they have their own developer tool for I don't know for for Nuremberg. They the office there, and they want to 
to um, share it with everybody um, or they have some comments on the tools. This is an ever, uh, ever developing uh, um, platform and they can uh, add that into the, into, the, into the platform. They can add it in, also in, in German if they want. Uh, so everybody could benefit from, from the common knowledge uh, and also because the, the main reason of, of Beacon of, of, of uh, setting up several uh, technical assistant offices is that there will be uh, professionals uh, all over Europe uh, improving the tools. Um, this is of course the energy community is not a, um, a solid, um, uh, solid definition. And there's a lot of things that we can uh, improve, and and, uh, and the changes of the legislation of or, or the experience, we can also so, uh, improve the uh, improve the tools also in, in languages. That's that's something that, of course, here is uh, in English and in the mainly in the in the in the technical offices uh, languages, but. They still can, they can uh, have uh, other type, other languages. Thank you so much, Mauro. And before giving the the floor to Andrea Castellan, uh, I quickly reply to the the last two questions we have in the chat. So uh, we have not uh, strictly commitments or obligations if you are selected as a replicator. So this means that if uh, you will not be performing or you will not attend to our events. Uh, nobody will ask for you money or we will fire you. But of course, we will not be included anymore in the life back on activities. Uh, the only obligations you have is uh, if you are really interested, just uh, follow us and uh, get the opportunity to use these tools developed for free for you within the project. And uh, the application project process is super simple because it's it's not, uh, this is like a sub call, no? So you have not to apply to the commission. So you have just to fill out the Google form um, that we provide in our uh, web page, and uh, that's it. It takes uh, some minutes to apply for uh, to, uh, to to fill out this form, and then we will do the the um, the evaluation process in the next weeks, and we will come back to all of you uh, with the final uh, result. Um, Andrea, please, the floor is yours if you have a question. Okay, I have just some consideration. I am a European climate ambassador and I live in Italy. So now you told us that uh, there are no costs. And uh, one important thing for me is how this uh, uh, climate alliance is related with the convenient of majors. And uh, just to let you know, next week I have organized in my territory, live nearby Torino, the meeting between one small municipality that already is ahead in the process of uh, establishing an energy community to support the uh, union of municipalities of Valle Susa, 23 municipalities, because most of the major or people, they are not aware, they don't want to enter, it's too complicated, they do not have enough, enough resources. So I will address them also to enter in contact with you and to try to use this tool and, um, and use also the small municipality as a best practice because uh, it's a municipality of 3,000 people, so quite people. small municipality. Yeah, but right ahead and very, very well prepared on legal, uh, governments, technical point of view. So uh, next week I will tell about this opportunity to the, 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 the administrator of the region where I live. Okay. And we are also in the same condition of Bulgaria because uh, the law was uh, issued on 24th of January in Italy. On the 8th of February was published, but but we are still waiting the, 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 the final regulation. So for the moment, we can act, but we are not 
uh, we do not have the complete frame clear at the moment. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. Yeah. Thank you very Good much, Andrea, for, for your for your comments and consideration. Uh, super quickly, Covenant uh, Climate Alliance and Covenant of Mayors. Okay, Cli Covenant of Mayors is a um, uh, is a funded program by the European Commission and is currently under the sixth renovation. So we are talking about a program with more than fifteen years. We celebrated the fifteenth birthday like three days yeah. ago. And uh, Climate Alliance is the co-coordinator of the program together with Energy Cities since the beginning. So this is the relation between uh, Climate Alliance and Covenant of Mayors. And the municipality you are talking about, uh, we as Climate Alliance know them really well, Magliano Alpi, because they started to work on their energy communities on behalf of another Horizon project similar to the Life Back On, but some years ago it was called the SCORE project and yeah uh, indeed you are agree they they are one of the best uh, experience that we can show all over europe uh, in fact probably uh, they will be part of our training courses so uh, yeah, but I want in... to just to tell you what the municipality I mentioned is sangano Torino okay. area. So if Sangano. you have other municipalities Sangano. interested that yeah. can also yeah. build on, okay. on, on that experience, yeah, feel free to, to suggest them to apply. The only condition here is that the deadline is in two days. But uh, of course, mm -hmm. if you have um, specific requirement, requirements okay. or needs, maybe just write an email to us and then we, we can we can see how we can we can we can solve the, this issue. Um, okay. Thanks. Bye -bye. Thank you. And other questions? If not, I'm going to, I think it's, uh, yeah, we are already late. So I'm going to, to close this webinar, just summarizing which, which is our offering in, in Tail for Replicator. So again, the access to the Life Back on One Stop Shop platform, providing guidance to information documents, templates you need for your specific needs. Uh, we provide access to our pilots community, uh, but also to the experts of other networks like the Covenant of Mayors or the Climate Pact. We have an ambassador today here. Uh, we offer the participation in these three half day workshops where you can learn from our pilots, Sofia Copenhagen and the three small municipalities in Spain uh, on how to run a successful one stop shop and technical assistance office. Three webinars and trainings uh, on specific topics of energy communities, plus one webinar on how to use the one stop shop platform, develop it. Uh, we offer 15 direct one-hour support sessions, uh, mentoring session. Uh, we offer technical and commercial assistance and the technical assistance cookbook. And last but not least, uh, information in your local language on, uh, for example, how to technical paper for public authorities. And uh, this is our offering in detail. Um, I really invite all of you uh, to, to apply to this call if, if this is interesting for you. Here, there is the, the link to the application form. Uh, and for any other further questions or, or points, please feel free to contact me, Edgar, uh, to the to the Bacon at climatealliance.org email address. So thanks again, everybody. And uh, I hope to, uh, to see you soon in the next steps of the Life Back On project. Thanks a lot for being here and see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank Thank you. Bye, bye. bye, everybody. Thank you for visiting, taking part. Thank you.